Right guys, welcome to a quick revision session. We're going to look at um, Liz Lockhead's poem, Home of My Sister. Now a few key things we need to understand here is that we're getting the perspective of an older sister looking down at a younger sister. And what she's talking about is, is her aspiration to try and grow up. Her idea about growing up, trying to be older than she actually is. Now, what we see throughout the whole poem is this extended metaphor, this idea that her feet are a symbol for who she is, for the stage of life she's in, and for the person she's trying to be. So you've got that extended metaphor throughout the whole poem. Okay, in the first stanza we see how the younger sister is trying on her older sister's shoes. And straight away, right from the first line, my little sister tries to try on my shoes. We get an idea of how old she is, she's a lot younger. We also get this idea of, of possessiveness and protection. She's my little sister, she's not just anyone. So this older sister is quite protective, she's quite defensive about her sister. It's quite interesting the choice of words here, she likes to strut in them. Now this word's got quite... Um, deep and quite dark undertones. It kind of connotes this idea of sexuality, maturity and seduction, which seems so inappropriate for her age. And this word strut is instantly juxtaposed with her appearance, her spindle-thin 12-year-old legs. So the sexuality associated with strutting is then juxtaposed with her really immature, growing body. In this season's style, she says they fit her perfectly, but wobbles on the high heels. So look at the language. The language is quite ungainly. It demonstrates the fact that she isn't used to moving around with them, perhaps that she isn't suited to these heels. And it's quite interesting that the little sister's desire to try on these shoes, to wear these shoes which are suited for someone older than her, could be reflecting her desire to grow up, to grow up faster than she should be. Okay, stanza 2 offers a distinct contrast to stanza 1. Here we see the younger sister in a far more natural, far more comfortable environment. And if we look at what she's doing, she's playing hopscotch. If we look at the language the older sister used to describe her, the way she admires the neat hops and skips of her, their quick peck, never missing their mark. The language really draws attention to her accuracy, her precision. The way this is where she's completely at home. And we can take this one step further. Whereas if we think back to stanza 1, how she wobbles and how her shoes aren't really comfortable, maybe she's trying to grow up too fast, here the old sister could be implying that this is where she belongs. That where she is being a child, acting like a child, this is where she should be. Okay? She shouldn't be trying to try on older shoes. She shouldn't be trying to be older than she actually is. If we look at this line, the fact that she's not overstepping the line, it's got quite an interesting double meaning. She could just, in a physical sense, not be overstepping the hopscotch line. She could be staying well within boundaries. Or, if we take it metaphorically, we could be talking about the fact that she's not trying to be something she's not. Playing Scott hopscotch, she is at home, she's, just, she's herself, she's not trying to be someone she isn't. But by trying on these shoes that belong to her sister, maybe she is. If you're wondering what Peeva means, it's just a Scottish slang word for hopscotch. Right, and in Santa 3, we see the persona actually enter herself into the discussion. She contrasts her own experience with that of her sister in her future. She says, I tried to warn my sister about unsuitable shoes. Again, we can take this metaphor further and say, actually, she's trying to warn her about growing up too fast. Point out my own distorted feet, the calluses, the odd patches of hard skin. So the language she used to describe her own experiences of, of growing up and of becoming an adult potentially hint that maybe her own transition has been quite a difficult one. These words like distorted feet, calluses, patches of hard skin. It's quite ugly and quite unattractive language. If we move on to the last four lines, I should not like to see him in my shoes. I wish she could stay sure-footed. Now, repetition of letter S obviously creates a lot of sibilance here, but we can 
really focus on the crux of the poem here, which is the idea that her, her sister is wanting to, uh, to, to remain young and innocent and who she is. She wants her to enjoy her actual youth, not trying to grow up too fast, not trying to try on these shoes which don't belong to her. Right, so if I go and look at the structure, you'll notice that it's quite a cyclical structure at the start and at the end and pretty much throughout the whole poem. There's this metaphorical discussion about the importance of wearing the right shoes. We talked before about how these shoes could be a metaphor for trying to grow up too fast. And we look at how each stanza is split into a different aspect of life. Stanza 1 is sister trying to try on her, her older sister's shoes and wobbling around. Stanza 2 demonstrates how she is completely comfortable at school, how she's so accurate and so precise. And finally, Stanza 3 looks at the persona, reflecting on her own experiences and advising her sister about what to do in the future. There isn't really any consistent rhyme or rhythm, which perhaps keeps us guessing a little bit. It prevents any idea of predictability and it forces us to focus on the broader message she might be making. Okay, thanks very much.